everyone, it's Dustin, the Alcohol Free Guru. If you want to learn to control alcohol and get free tips and other coaching from me and other awesome coaches from around the world on how to live an incredible life while being alcohol free, then be sure to start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. And join in on live Zoom group coaching calls with me included at the Alcohol Free Revolution website. We are the AFR.org. That's we are the AFR.org. To find out whether my program is right for you or not, check the description below. Please ask any questions you have in the comments so I can answer them on a future episode. We are with you. You'll never walk alone. I am in the old town of Valencia, Spain. It is absolutely gorgeous here. So while we talk about the word alcoholic, I will walk around and try to show you some sights. Now, there is no such thing as an alcoholic. There are people who get addicted to alcohol and just like a two packs a day smoker who gave up cigarettes and now they think they are disgusting cancer sticks, people who are addic actively addicted to alcohol can quit drinking and be disgusted by alcohol and have zero desire or cravings to ever drink cancer juice again. Only 30% of people know that alcohol causes cancer. So I had to throw that cancer juice comment in there. A friend of mine recently asked me what I thought about his drinking. I already knew how much he had consumed in his life, for how long and how often. I told him that due to how much he had consumed, he was most likely addicted to alcohol. He got really nervous and defensive and asked in a hushed voice, you really think I'm an alcoholic? Absolutely not, I replied. I think you were addicted to alcohol. His defensiveness was gone. He was now curious about this statement. What's the difference, he asked. The difference is that with an alcoholic, the person is seen as the issue. When a person is addicted to alcohol, the substance is the issue. This perspective is the key to exposing what I call the alcohol matrix, which is our collective unconscious illusion that alcohol benefits us in some way. About a year and a half into being alcohol free, I was talked into going to an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. Because of COVID, the meeting was held online. I logged in to experience firsthand what AA was all about for people addicted to alcohol. The kind and compassionate people in the meeting kept trying to get me to say, hi, my name is Dustin Dunbar and I'm an alcoholic. They tried about four times in different ways, but I just sat there looking into the camera with a silent stare. The whole time I wanted to scream, I am not an alcoholic. I used to be addicted to alcohol, but I am not now. As I said before, it is worth repeating. Just like someone who used to be addicted to cigarettes and now knows they are disgusting, addictive, and deadly, I used to be addicted to alcohol and now know it is disgusting, addictive, and deadly. If a person does not have any desire whatsoever to drink alcohol, then that person is cured. They are not perpetually a recovering alcoholic. They are someone who was once addicted to alcohol. Just like someone who was once addicted to cigarettes is no longer a smokeaholic. I am not an alcoholic. I want to be very clear here. I could drink alcohol just like any other person who is high functioning and drinks alcohol on a consistent basis. And I could drink it anytime I want to. I choose not to because it is disgusting to me in the same way inhaling a cigarette is disgusting to me. But just don't take my word for it. A 2017 study published in Neuropsychopharmacology found that rats will choose alcohol over sex and food 100% of the time, but only after they've been forced to consume enough alcohol that they become addicted. A non-addicted rat will never drink alcohol voluntarily. Think about that. Rats will eat and drink literally everything, including feces, while happily swimming around in raw sewage, but they won't touch alcohol. The oaky farm boy in me just has to say it. Rats will literally eat shit, but they won't drink alcohol. And this Oki farm boy knows too much about rats. I had to research a ton of rats in grad school 
because they're so similar genetically to humans. Another telling and troubling fact is that all of the rats began to drink alcohol voluntarily after they had been force fed enough of it to develop a physical addiction. After enough exposure, the addictive nature of alcohol turns healthy rats who are instinctively smart enough to avoid alcohol into addicts or what AA and so many others would insist on calling alcoholics. The term alcoholic connotes that there is something permanently wrong with people who are addicted to alcohol. We have to realize that the term alcoholic is outdated and reinforces the idea that even if you're alcohol free, alcohol still has power over you. When you call yourself and others who have overcome their alcohol addiction, alcohol free, on the other hand, you're empowering yourself and empowering others. You're opting out of calling yourself and others incurable, diseased alcoholics. And you acknowledge that past addicts don't drink alcohol because they simply don't want to drink an addictive poison, not because they're broken or defective. Saying you're alcohol free creates an entirely different narrative. It makes it easier to talk about your past addictions without reliving the pain and guilt. You're not an alcoholic, you've wised up to the reality of what drinking does to your body, and you have removed the compulsive habit from your life. Living alcohol free rather than as a recovering alcoholic is a recognition that you've evolved beyond alcohol and found greater peace and fulfillment when it is not in your life. You don't ever have to admit to anyone that you're a forever diseased alcoholic. There is a full cure, full recovery, and a beautiful alcohol-free life waiting for you. All you have to do is admit that you are addicted to alcohol, again, not an alcoholic, then reprogram yourself to realize you can do everything your heart desires, and then some, without an addictive toxic substance flowing through your veins. You are not doomed to be an alcoholic. You either used to be addicted to alcohol or you currently are. You can and will overcome all cravings for alcohol and be cured if you want to be. Becoming alcohol free is not a competition. There are as many ways to become alcohol free as there are people addicted to alcohol. You and your path are unique and you will become alcohol free in your own way. The coaching I do and my other coaches is simply the story of how I was able to become completely cured of all cravings for alcohol. While I hope to inspire you, if you find a better way that feels even more aligned with you, please follow that path. If anyone tells you their path or way is the only way, run, don't walk away from them. Remember to ask questions. Subscribe and click the bell and visit wearetheifr.org so you stay involved. The God in me recognizes, honors, and loves the God in you.